In this paper, we study the stroke placement problem in Pantley rendering. We propose a method named stroke processes, which enables intuitive customization of painting styles by mapping perceptual characteristics directly to rendering parameters. To achieve this, we adopt eight characteristics, which we call perceptual dimensions, and use them as rendering parameters. The first one is density. It is proportional to the number of strokes inside a unit image area. Then non-uniformity, which is the unevenness of the spatial density of strokes. A high non-uniformity level means strokes are very dense in some places, but very sparse elsewhere. Local isotropy measures the degree of similarity of stroke orientations in a neighborhood inside an image region. A high local isotropy level means neighboring strokes are usually near parallel, exhibiting a smooth style with low orientation contrast. Coarseness is proportional to the average size of strokes. Size contrast means the average size differences between neighboring strokes. Lightness contrast, chroma contrast, and hue contrast are the differences in color between neighboring strokes. You may have noticed that we are emphasizing many contrasts among neighboring strokes in our parameter design. This is because painters say contrast is a powerful tool to depict different styles. Given a segmented source image, users can interactively control the eight perceptual dimensions for each region in order to achieve their desired effects. To numerically evaluate the contrasts of a stroke pattern, we build a neighborhood graph for the strokes. The graph is generated dynamically according to stroke positions and orientations. With the graph, we know the neighbors of each stroke and can use them to compute the contrasts. Here is the screencast of using our system to customize Pantley rendering. First, we open the source image, its segmentation label map, and its reference orientation field prepared in advance. The segmentation was done by interactive GraphCut and the orientation field was computed by diffusing segmentation boundaries and salient curves. On the software interface, we have four views. The source image, the computed stroke positions, the stroke orientations, and a painting preview. We may double-click to select an image region in order to adjust the eight perceptual dimensions for this region. We use the density slide bar to control the number of strokes. By adjusting the non-uniformity level, we can simulate either clustered or scattered strokes. Changing the local isotropy level will affect stroke orientations. When the local isotropy level is low, Neighboring strokes will have very different orientations, leading to a cluttered style. The manipulation of local isotropy is achieved using reaction diffusion processes. Please see our paper for details. The coarseness level controls the average stroke size. Adjusting the size contrast slide bar and the three slide bars for lightness, chroma, and hue. We can control the differences in these attributes between neighboring strokes, which reflect the contrast levels. The system will render a preview of the painting image as feedback immediately. For each image region, the user can use the eight slide bars to obtain the desired number of strokes. Their spatial distribution on the canvas and contrasts among their orientations, sizes, and colors in order to compose a painting image of expected style. During adjustment, the user may always jump among different image regions by double clicking on the segmentation thumbnail and use the painting preview or the other views to help him or her assess the effect of each slide bar. After the user is satisfied with the current settings,
he or she can click the rendering button to start the final rendering. In a few minutes, the system will finish rendering the final painting image with textured brush strokes, matching the contrast levels specified by the user. By simply changing one or two parameters, we can achieve slightly different styles. For example, by increasing the lightness contrast, we can make the apples appear less mellow. More details are included in our paper. Thank you for your attention.